Michael Nagy here with Jiggy Jag TV and DiscoveringBands.com. And for everyone watching right now, if you can share this video on my channel and help support the awesome bands that I feature. And today I'm here with Aka Mal. How are you doing today? Fine, Good fine. Good to have okay. you. Yeah, thanks. Uh, thanks for this opportunity to expect with you. You're a very gentleman for, for me. Uh, it was very nice to take in consideration my music, my songs. For me, it was very, so important. Thanks so much. From deep from my heart. Thank you. No problem. You want to start off and tell us a little about your uh, musical history, your background? Okay, my break, my background is a very simple, I think. So um, I started to play piano when I was f maybe eight years old. I started from that time, and uh, so um, the characteristic was uh, very simple. So uh, I, I, I take, I took a friend, my piano, and start to play. This is, 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 is seem like uh, exists something main in myself there, and I start to play piano. You know, I'm grown with the music, um, but uh, I'm started to to hear um, rock. Uh, thanks, uh, Pink Floyd was my first album. I maybe twelve years old. I maybe, and, and I hit the Pink Floyd, the Wall, and for that time my my mind explodes, explodes. You know, I, uh, it's open. I knew words about you know, the the music, and um, but the good thing was when I started to. Uh, to play with a band. They was my good friends. They was um, they was older than my, myself, you know, as uh, very a lot of years. And then we started to 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 make a, a band, music band, and um, we we play, you know, the, uh, uh, hard rock, rock. Because my my good friends and guitarist is very passionate about the rock. He introduced them, introduced me uh, in the rock world. And showed me uh, Pink Floyd, um, sorry, uh, Deep Purple, uh, AC to C, Noda, uh, Led Zeppelin, and grow uh, close to him. And he showed me, and he let me hear this this music, introduced me in this world, and explained me the different style. And you know, he was a very good friends. And because I'm I'm keyboard player, okay, I'm a keyboard, a keyboard player. And my my passion uh, uh, was to play a uh, Hammond organ, you know, the, like a uh, John Lord, like the pop. And so I, John Lord was a good point of refinement for myself uh, in, in my life. And for the reason I have the keyboards, the guitar, bass, guitar, drum, and we made the cover about the pop. You know, the, uh, it was very nice. And I didn't grow with this band for very for for I think maybe I grow we we'll say together for maybe around six year six year maybe yeah six seven year um so but my 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 journey to the exoterical meanings of the sound started when. Uh, I introduced myself in the esoteric, in the esoteric world, you know, uh, because I, I, have, uh, I have had always this passion inside me, esoteric, you know, it's like a feeling inside me, and I'm started to to uh, to introduce myself with some master, sell all the stuff. Uh, uh, to study the alchemies uh, and, uh, and the the, the laws of the universe, you know, the, and my my journey was very uh, interesting because I studied Buddhism, the Zen, Japanese, you know, uh, Shinto. I study the our um, our um, philosophers like Pythagoras, you know, is because they are very good. They was very good master for for this other part of the world. So anyway, I'm studying from from many 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 things about this world, and uh, I tried to experimentation the sound effects on the mind and the body. For the reason, I uh, I started to hear Brian Eno. Uh, 
I heard Brian Eno for a long time because Brian Eno is for, for me is a, like a god in your dog because Brian Eno with two notes, uh, something pads and um, a chemical sound is mixed. It. This creates atmosphere and influences your mind, influences your... So uh, the, the music of Brian Eno alterates your state of mind, it alterates your mind state. So, uh, Brian Eno for me is incredible. And I'm studying for a long time um, the meanings of the sound of Brian Eno, tried to emulate, but it's not easy, you know. But uh, I'm trying to, um, to get uh, the, um, the inspiration from Brian Eno about his, his movement, his, uh, his sound, you know, that was very, was very, a very important research of my life for, for the importance of the sound. And I'm um, studying the, um, the, the meanings of the mantras, Tibetan, Tibetan mantras, and the frequency, how the monks you know, play this, this single, this mantra, and the effect they have when in the wild, in the wild they are, are singing the mantra and, and uh, how this change the consciousness and uh, how change the uh, energy effects in our body. The mantra is very, very incredible words of, of esoteric sound words. And um, also I am started to the, import, the importance, uh, the importance of the sound of the Jeridu, did Jeridu, you know, the Australian uh, Aborigin, they play the sound and uh, they uh, enter in meditation, they go they gone, uh, in and meditation uh, with this didgeridoo and um, the fragrance of the didgeridoo and the fragrance of the mantra, the, the mantra, Tibetan monks mantra like Om, you know, you know the Om, is, uh, is, uh, is us, they have the same frequency, they have the same uh, articulation. So two culture, they they uh, don't they uh, um, meet they don't meet in never in the, in the life, you know. But they express they are expressing uh, showing the same uh, knowledges, you know. Now, uh, so the different is Aborigines don't use the uh, the the mouth, the sound from from the no. I don't say I don't know the name in English. Sorry about the uh, through. And um, but use the digital the, the, the monk Tibetan use the, the throne, you know, the, the, his body to produce the, this the sound. So it's very, it's, it's very, uh, very deep talking, you know, because we have need more time to, to, to do about this. But to uh, the importance of the sound and the according the sound is the oldest most important thing because uh, in the past someone is, is uh, getting the, the, the decision to change the according, you know, uh, is not good things because um, around, uh, in the past, the according of the sound is, was uh, um, um, uh, three, four, two year, uh, hertz, and now is according four, four, T hertz. It does work. It doesn't work very so so good because something has changed. You try to hear, yeah, for example, Beethoven or Mozart in four three two hertz. You know, it's totally different the impression you have from that music, and it's totally different that you feel you now inside you when Beethoven is is playing the Nona Symphony. You know, it's changed everything. And um, uh, so um, the, the the sound really for me, the sound for me it's a, it's a middle step from the material and from the spirits, you know, because the spirits are all the spirits or soul universe that you wanna call, uh, it's okay, is something is something. Uh, Untouchable, you know, and the is passing through the sound to become material. So this is important of the sound, and uh, it's important to try to compose in compose a, a, a good music. Today there is very a lot quantity of music, but it's nothing to very quality. You know, we don't have quality. So that you hear is like I. I 
I use adjective when I speak with some of my friends to say it's plastic music in Elda. Say it's plastic music. It's a, uh, when it's using a, a music just for say ho 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 and after you win it, you know that. Say it's plastic music. It's not giving you nothing. Nothing. And but um, that I saw actually you know, in my life mean you as someone of a new generation, Dave Thornburg to hear Led Zeppelin. Why? It's Led Zeppelin, Deep Purple, Gentle Giants, yes, King Crimson, you know that, Jethro uh, Thal. All this band, they do something very important for the music. Joe Lennon, you, you too, uh, so Joe Lennon too. Everyone's now turned back to hear this music all the time. So I hear a very a lot quantitative of music in my life. But sometimes I have a need to pump the volume and put as A C the C because so uh, now put it sometime I have a probably necessity like a drugs to hear a uh, shine request shine you crazy diamond for example the big floyd the intro is or other stuff. Why when you hear music today, new music today, you don't have the necessity to turn back to hear it. When you hear some music like for oh, five time, eight time, okay, after you don't have more necessity to hear it. Why is happening? Because the music down is composing. It's a typical music is composing because just to have a template to make something to different the intentions they behind the composing now from the new artists is different from the, the intention they have they and uh, the um, the whole composer, you know that. So it's something too strange, and I have my I have my theory about it because um, I thought many a many a many a many lot of, of things let me understanding some agenda from the uh, um, very big company in the world today producing music. You know, for example, a label today don't uh, don't give you the possibility if you um, to so uh, it works away. You know that I, th I think so. I am composer. I'm producer because I'm putting my money. I go to the recording or into studio recording. I contact my player. And uh, my guitarist, my bass guitarist, and uh, you know, uh, and playing my music, they make his parts, they have got recording, and after they, uh, they, uh, so I make the, the, the song, and I try now to publish my song, you know, uh, okay, uh, when you have the possibility to contact, to, to, to enter in contact with a label, no one's wanna get you in consideration. You write some time, you send your music, no one's answer you. And when someone do it, ask you money to produce it by the label. And so I thought, oh fucking shit. So you are label and you asking me the money and me, the money and me to produce me. I I fucking can me. I just work. I just work. I, I work at that. The, the world. Yeah, but the music. Uh, no one's. Uh, uh, no one's uh, can sell it. No one's pay the music. Now the music is free and okay. Is is good. Is I know that. But for the reason the label never more exist. You don't have more. But they want to say. On the society, you know, they wanna come under the roots, you know, and they don't wanna die. It. And for the reason, when you produce yourself and put your fucking music on the internet, and you you pay a very lot of money, okay, much money, uh, uh, to pay your promotion with uh, ever with your partnership, uh, your contact, uh, so um, sponsor suggestion, you know, uh, you spend a bit of money. And but something appear very dark. See, I call it I call it the dark side of the music. You know, 
or the labels. You put your music on Spotify, you pay, you pay for the list, for playlist to to pay someone to put you on sales. Are you have to get uh, so it's much money, it's much money, and you don't take the money back because so the royalty is very cheap, uh, you know. But it's okay. I have, for example, very lots of money to produce myself. I put my money. I I contact that guy. I contact the other guy. But I write something in your life. In a certain moment, they lock you. You don't pass over because the labels and the um, the big company in the world, they have created, I thought, they have created a wall around and no one saw to pass in that wall. Hello. So, the, the joke is this. I must pay everything. I can, I can try to arrive in some, I can go from A and B points maybe C points, but something enter to lock you. At that point, you have a need a label, and the label, what you do? Ask the your money to yeah. arrive over. Yeah. It's fucking crazy. Come on. It's fucking yeah. crazy. So, yeah. and it's important to person like you, or the person like you have a good magazine, help us our underground composing. Uh, to have something light, you know, to get the lights uh, in in our career. This is just important. So anyway, you study one, uh, you study all entire life to understand the meanings of the sound, the effect of the sound, Brianino, Mantra, Tibetan, and after you have any the labels, and the labels ask you money for go over. It's a credit for <laughs> it's like it's you. So anyway. It's my inspiration yeah. for life. <laughs> yeah, your music is incredible. Your uh, debut single, Turn Around, uh, the video is amazing, the song. I was wondering, where was that video filmed? Me. I am the art director of the movie. I have done the storyboards, <laughs> né? because I'm, I'm uh, joining my life. I worked for the movie industries. Like, my first work was uh, special effects, prosthetic, prosthetic special effects. I'm like, okay. I'm a sculptor and I uh, make this, I have this passion for um, uh, eight, eight years I worked, I worked in the, in the movie, in movie industries and um, uh, for me it was important to learn you know, from the, from the director, from the photography, you know, I was working as a set, you know, I'm, I, I, I'm started uh, uh, this reality very very well, and uh, after I didn't um, I I didn't work in this in this profession because so is my life changes and my father that is is that for cancer, so I get married I have two children, and for the reason music and the career and the, my career and the movie. Uh, industries uh, I can follow because it's very complicated with when you have two children and you have work to and to bring the money in order. And but uh, now in the second, some we can say that uh, in the second part of my life, uh, all that I have started arrived to help me to realize that I I I'm doing in this, in this time of my life the music and the movie. So the movie I I. I'm re I realize um, I thought at uh, the, this video, and I have had two choice. I thought two choice. Or try to make something video um, tell about the song, or use a video to try to show my character, Al Kamel, and who is this guy? Is come who is come from now? Uh, I I took. The second I get in second uh, street and I I I don't my video to tell uh, exactly my character and the people. It was the, the second choice, and uh, it's it's that's all. 
this is nice. For Turnaround it was very interesting in production because uh, Mr. Brian Eos was my master and for the, and um, uh, I wanna I wanna do a harp guitar né, uh, on an intro. And I became I became crazy to to find this guitar because it was a Rickenbacker 12 strings, and I find it in the UK. And I have a guy at this they sell us. We buy it. We bought it, and we have done this. So I bought a guitar just to do <laughs> one intro, and maybe I don't use never more this guitar. You know that so I'm, I'm fucking crazy. You know that, but this yeah. is important. As important the sound, but. Uh, so we we worked on with Giuseppe Bassis, my um, artistic pro, uh, producer. He's a very good guy, so we had good feelings. He works in America too for um, for eight years, I think. Uh, and so he has that sound, American style sound mixing and mastering. You know that I I'm trying to for turn around for all my music. Because the first mastering and mixing of Turnaround was very fucking shit. Because so uh, they do, I've done it here in Italy, and they mix it like trap, bass, and uh, pop Italian voice. I when I heard it the first time, I said, "The guy, what what the hell are you doing? No, it's a rock. No, it's not. It's a rock. It's not shit. It's not rock. Come on." It's, I, I spent so much money, I printed my money, okay, I'm very frustrated because I don't know who do this typical sound, American sound, like uh, Britain influences, you know. So it's very difficult to say, it was very difficult to find someone make that sound. After with my friends, all the, and the friends spoken with all the friends, all the friends, uh, I arrived at Giuseppe Bassi, and so uh, I say, I think uh, I, I say it, thanks a God to meeting him, and we start again to reproduce again, uh, turn around. So because Giuseppe Bassi, uh, he he heard the tracks and the like the techniques was recording, and he made me again everything, everything. And uh, so uh, he's uh, done the mixing and he's worked now, he's worked. He's done in uh, already, we have, uh, we, are re we, are, we have ready all the six songs. It's coming out after December. I was going to say, when do you plan on releasing your next single? Uh, okay, uh, we have to, we are, uh, we projecting the video. Queen, so the, single, the second single is, is ready, but the video now. Uh, this moment in Italy is very, uh, very complicated time. Complicated time because uh, for the coronavirus, you know, that is, you know, and I don't know if the, our government decides to um, to put again lockdown. I don't know exactly what what they want to do. But so if um, if I can try to sh maybe I want to try to shoot the second movie. In, uh, in December, in the first part of December, and in January after the Christmas holiday, I won. I won publish it, the second uh, the second uh, singles. Now, how do these? Sorry, I want to say she's sorry for my English for your friends you now hear me. But sorry, guy, I'm I'm trying to study now English in my life very serious. Sorry, I can understand you well, so. Okay, no, I, I want to try to say uh, sorry for my English because I don't speak very well English. Sorry. I want to ask uh, your other songs coming out, how do they compare to Turn Around? How's the style? Okay, the say, okay, Turn Around really, I, pro I projected um, the first um, single songs you know don't because uh, they was the first song I composed I have composed and they are uh, totally not totally new so we we speaking okay rock but every song is different from not um, from each other so turn around uh, is a typical uh, very simple song uh, very quiet song melancholy song you know they speak about love because I'm, I've written, I've written this song for a girl, 
the, I love, I fall in love for this girl. I keep the song, the, the woman is gone, okay, so it's part of this other thing, but anyway, uh, so I composed the song for her, and it was the first song I was in, this is, was the first song. Now, after I appeared the second, the Scent of Roses, the second single is coming out, uh, I told you before, in January, and after I, I, I composed the third one, so, I didn't know exactly where I, when I take my inspiration because my mind is, exists very, very a lot musicians of the history. You know, because in my mind I have Pink Floyd, I have so I have very quantity of music. And sometimes when I try to compose my music, something appear, and you can hear very a lot of influences from very lots uh, composing composers. So. Um, the first, um, five, these first five singles are more, um, I can try to say, um, they're more instinctive work, you know, no? very instinctive work. There was the first, uh, was, was the first song I wrote and I composed, and they are just a bit different, and uh, they explain exactly the, the, the journey of my life. Uh, they explain, uh, for example, about my family, it's conflictual, uh, it was conflictual, uh, shaped with them, and so every song explain a very important point of my life. But for the, my first album, for my first LP, it's coming out in May for the next year, it's called Jack Soul. The work is totally different, for example, from these five songs, five tracks. Is uh, with we are we we talking about styles like Jimi Hendrix, style like um, vintage sound, you know. The, um, I have influenced about ACDC. Uh, something like uh, Led Zeppelin, so it's very dark hard rock, it's more stronger about the first singles. And uh, it's totally different, but it has different energies. And for this LP, for this, my first LP, I'm recording totally, totally sound, totally instruments in 4, 3, 2 hertz. Totally, and we'll do it in analogic, non-digital, analogic system recording, like old style. So cool. well, very nice. Thanks. Now, if people want to find you online, look you up, get your music on social media, how do they do that? Okay, uh, you asking me where, when the people uh, uh, can find me, no, in the media. Yeah, where they can find your music and find your stuff on the computer. Okay, I am, I am in, uh, I am on Spotify like Alcamel. I have a Facebook page Alcamel six 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 six, and I have, I have a YouTube YouTube channel Alcamel. You find me everywhere, and so if you, if the people, for example, go to um, want to see my video on YouTube, find, try to uh, uh, write a camera, turn around and find the video and uh, under the screen stay all my contacts, Facebook, YouTube, Spotify, Instagram, uh, Twitter, I have everything. I have my website, the um, www.alcamel.com. Awesome. I have everything. Cool. It was good having you today and talking with you and everyone looking up. Oh man, it's very nice to meet you.